My name is Jesse Teller. And um, this is a tour of my table. This is all dark fantasy. And um, it's all in the same world. And there are characters and storylines that cross over from series to series. But I, I'm a firm believer in the fact that you should be able to read one series and get a complete story without confusion. So all of my series stand on their own, but if you read them all together, then you get more story. So this is my Manhunter series, and it's kind of a, a magnificent seven of fantasy. There's been a prison break, and a wizard gets a group of his friends together to hunt down everybody that escaped. This is the same series, um, and it has bonus material. It's got uh, four articles that I was writing while I was writing the series to kind of let you know where my headspace was and how I was creating it and all that kind of stuff. And it's got a short story that's an origin story for a character in the series. This over here is my monstrously huge epic war series. It's called The Madness Wars and it's four books and they're completely finished. And basically, it's about this guy who was born into a nation of conquest and destruction. And they tell him when he's young, one day you're gonna go to that nation over there and you're gonna conquer it for us. And so he starts to study it. He knows all the roads. He knows all the castles. He's walked the halls. He has eaten at the table of some of the noblemen. He knows this country in and out and he has a plan for everything. But when he crosses the border, a new power has risen that's not even supposed to be there and he has no way to predict it and he has no way to get any idea he has no information on it in that war something happens that's so traumatic and so tragic that i had to write crisis of fate as the aftermath of that event now it takes place during the war so you can read it with the war but like i said I like to have my books so that you don't get confused and you don't get lost. So I specifically wrote it so that you can read it by itself and you still get the whole story. This is my barbarian culture and this is where we start to get a little weird. Okay? <laughs> um, I love this culture. It's extremely masculine. It's extremely aggressive with its masculinity. And so these, this book, Legends of the Exiles, is about four women that are trying to, four powerful women that are trying to assert themselves in that society and find their place there. And this right here is not my fault. <laughs> this is not my fault. This is the fault of somebody I'm not going to point at, but it's the fault of somebody else. In this book, there is a scene that takes place in a barbarian drinking hall. And all the men are singing a song about goats. And she's like, what's this? And I could smell it in the air. I could see it on the horizon. I was just, keep walking, keep walking. Don't look at that, it's nothing. It's just world building. And so she let it go. But <laughs> this culture has so much that I had to work on and so much that I wanted to change in the storytelling that I ended up writing another series. And the series hasn't been published yet. But in that series, the goat song showed up again. And she says, now you have to write it. And I said, I'm not going to write it. It's not a good idea. I don't write poetry. I don't write lyrics. I don't write music. It's not going to happen. And she goes, you need to. And I said, okay, listen. I decide what I write. You don't decide what I write. I decide what I write. It's my world. It's my work. I'm in charge. So here it is. <laughs> and it's a 65 verse barbarian drinking song. Okay. And... The concept behind the song is that this chief really loved goats. And he tells everybody in the tribe, leave my goats alone, don't mess with my goats. Well, goats are extremely difficult animals to live with. And so they're a pain. So nobody in the village is happy. Well, he dies. And at his funeral feast, his wife slaughters all the goats and she cooks them at his funeral feast for the entire tribe. And this is the story, this is the song that the men started singing while they were eating. It is a 65 verse song. There's five verses that tell why he loved goats so much. And there's 60 verses, one for each goat. Now, 
goats are ve have their own personality. They're very quirky animals. So I had to come up with 60 different personalities for 60 different goats. And then it also tells in each verse how she cooked it. So I had to come up with 60 different recipes for 60 different goats. <laughs> but evidently I'm committed to backstory. So I, so I wrote it. It takes two and a half hours to perform because two and a half to three hours to perform because we have the party every year and we come into my basement and we sing it and everybody has a blast it's the most fun you have it, you can't you can't buy the experience it's amazing there's a thing that you guys might not know because i don't know how many barbarian goat drinking parties you've been to but are we talking this year or uh, as a whole as a whole okay. And probably a small number. If it had, it might have been a while. So I'll tell you, you have to bring your own mug. You have to bring your own mug, and you try to make your mug as cool as possible because there is a mug contest with a first, second, and third place trophy. We have uh, goat chili and goat cheese, and in the bathroom is goat milk soap. And I have a crazy person that comes every year, and sometimes she'll make. Uh, goat milk fudge and um, she makes soap in the shape of goats it gets completely out of hand I have people bringing me goats pictures paintings all this kind of stuff my life has become about goats <laughs> that is my table thank you for listening I am on jesseteller.com I, on Facebook, I have a I have a page called Path to Parallesque, which is on um, one of the continents of my world. On Instagram, I'm Jesse Teller, and on Twitter, I'm Jesse Teller. So, um, I got lucky there because I got all the Jesse Tellers, and <laughs> there's not a lot of them, evidently. Anyway, um, that is my whole thing, and um, thank you for coming by and checking me out.